as you saw earlier, the method name crop is called four times in succession once for each of the images that are created from the image files. I explained the image cropping process in an earlier lecture. The crop method used in this program is very similar to the methods that I explained in the earlier lecture, so I won't waste your time by explaining the crop method again in this lecture. I will point out, however, that the crop method requires five parameters. The first parameter is a reference to the image that is to be cropped. The next two parameters specify the upper left hand corner of the rectangular area of the image that is to be preserved after cropping. And the last two parameters specify the width and the height of the area that is to be preserved. Note that in all four cases, the height of the cropped rectangle is 256 pixels there and there and there and there. This is will be will be important later with respect to the scaling of two of the ice skater images. The crop method returns a reference to a picture object that is a cropped version of the picture whose reference is passed to the method. In each case, in the code on your right, the in each case the code on your right replaces the reference to the original picture object with the reference to the cropped picture object. For example, if you were to display the picture object referred to by front after cropping, you would see the image on the lower left of your screen. The cropped image of the ice skater on the upper right of your screen is the image that appears as the center ice skater on the bottom right of your screen. Note that all of the green pixels in the upper image appear to be transparent in the lower image. The run method continues on the right of your screen. The code in the run method contains three similar sections of code. One here, one here, and one here. Note that each of these three sections of code calls a method named green screen draw here and here and here. However, two of those sections of code call a method named get picture with height here and here. These three sections of code draw the three views of the ice skater in the final output image that you saw earlier. 
finally, the code on the right of your screen calls the add message method to display some text. You are already familiar with that method, so I shouldn't need to explain it further. The method named get picture with height is a method in Barb Erickson's library that can be used to scale an image. This method is used to scale two of the images before they are processed by the method named green screen draw. The method named get picture with height is defined in Erickson's simple picture class and is inherited into Erickson's picture class. This method requires a single integer input parameter. The parameter specifies the height in pixels of a scaled output version of the picture on which the method is called. This method can be used to create a new picture with a specified height while maintaining a constant aspect ratio for the width and the height. As I mentioned earlier, the height of all three cropped versions of the ice skater is 256 pixels. Referring to the calls to the get picture with height method on the right of your screen, you can see that one of the cropped images was replaced with an image having a height of 256 divided by 2 or 128 pixels and the other image was replaced with an image having a height of 256 divided by 3 or 85 pixels. You saw the effect of this scaling in the final output image earlier. It's important to note that the front view of the, sk of the skater was not scaled and appears in the output image at a height of 256 pixels. The image now showing on the right of your screen shows the effect of scaling two of the images of the ice skater.